Okay. We're gonna get into. We're gonna get into shampoos. Now, to some shampoos can be therapeutic because it is you cleaning your hair. My favorite part of hair day is actually there's two parts. <laughs> I would have to say my favorite parts <coughs> of me even doing my hair. My favorite favorite <coughs> is deep conditioning, but. I think styling might be a low key another favorite. Deep conditioning has always been a favorite, but so far, I kind of almost want to say styling is because it's therapeutic. I have the music on, I have everything, you know, and I'm in the zone just doing my hair. So I'm relaxed. But those are my two favorite parts of the whole wash day process <coughs> deep conditioning and styling. Okay, um, where do I start? This was a kit that I got. I am including this because I don't have anywhere else to put it. But honestly, the sweet ginger cleansing rinse that I tried in this Camille Rose kit, which I did a whole video about, everything was low key fire. What I mean, the ginger cleansing rinse was amazing. I didn't get a big bottle of that because I got shampoos already. Way too many. Okay, I had over 20 shampoos. At least I was able to finish 12 of them in 2020. So that leaves me eight shampoos to get through for 2023. Talk about progress. <laughs> okay, and I was able to bust out and finish a lot of eight ounce products. In 2022 so that left me with some 12 ounce products and you know anything more than eight ounces be like a little struggle to get through them eight ounce products you can just boop, 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 bust them out right quick <coughs> and be done with it I was very impressed by the Moroccan pear conditioning custard I loved that in this kit, that is a rinse out. Now, come here, Rose. If you wanted to, you could market that as a rinse out slash deep conditioner. The slip, the moisture, the detangling properties. <coughs> Give me a minute. Felt like I was choking. Been a very long day y'all <laughs> but i'm trying to get it all out the way so if you hear me coughing <coughs> bear with me because the weather is being retarded right now it's supposed to be cold like it's supposed to be cold right now even though i hate the cold because it's been freezing not not to where i'm like bone chilly cold like last week was freezing I ain't gonna lie this week is trying to get hot and then when I blink my eyes and I look up, it's probably going to get cold again. So just be mindful of the weather on the East Coast, especially if you live in the Raleigh-Durham area. You, this weather might shock and surprise you. You'd be like, what the hell? <laughs> That's what it's doing to me. So. But back to what I'm talking about. That These two were a dream together. Okay, then you have Pearl Love, which Pearl Love... I'm glad that I had got the bigger bottle of this and the bigger bottle of this. I had got both of them during last year, well, 2021's Black Friday. So this whole kit was like $10. And then I also got items that I believed I would love. And I did. I'm not mad at myself for that one. I highly enjoyed every single item in here and i would love to repurchase all of them so that was the first shampoo i tried simple size but i loved 
Okay, so we're going to get into the other 12 items. All right. <clears throat> this is the Mio. I don't know how, but the pump, the thing came off out while I was packing up from my old apartment. But make no mistake, I got every drop. I was like, okay, wait, well, it don't want to pump out no more. It came off. I took it off, unscrewed it, and put it in my hair. This is supposed to be like, some people say that this is supposed to be a clarifying shampoo or whatever. I didn't get the clarifying. Some people say it's supposed to be strengthening. I'll say this is balanced. If you do not know what your hair needs at all, like you don't know if your hair needs to be, if you need a strengthening shampoo, a moisturizing shampoo, or a clarifying shampoo. This is a three in one. This will moisturize, strengthen, and clarify. Because the way it suds up, you'll be like, what? This is really good. So, if you don't know what your hair needs, and you can mind the smell, because this may not be everybody's cup of tea, just, you know, get you a few essential oil drops, put it in there, mask the smell or whatever. But if you love the smell, you're going to definitely love this. This, I would definitely say, one without a shadow of a doubt, I would repurchase this. I did highly enjoy this product. This is the one product from Miel. Please don't touch this. Do not reformulate, redo nothing with this. This is a great product. And I'm really starting to love Miel shampoos because this is the second Miel shampoo that I love. Okay. I did not think I was going to like another shampoo by Miel, the one I'm currently using now. But actually, when I washed my hair with the um, Hawaiian ginger shampoo, it just was the pre-poo that I had used the last time that I was unsure about it. But it really works. Miel shampoos are giving me deep way, fresh out the pack definition and moisture. They're giving me life. So this... They make great shampoos. If I ever have to question, do I like one? It's not that they don't work. It's just that maybe something I like more. But this will be repurchased. Okay. <clears throat> Speaking of another item shampoo that I love. This one is the TGIN Miracle Repair Strengthening Shampoo with Black Castor Oil Biotin. Look. Y'all, just say it's three and ones, okay? This one has honey in it, black honey. Look, if this strengthen, I didn't, you know, if I would say this is balancing also, this is like a one and done. It's, you know, it's doing something, you know, because it's not like sometimes moisturizing shampoos are like overly mushy. It's like, this is too soft. No, this just right also. Christia did her thing with this. Put some respect on TGIN's name. Now this, at regular price, I'm glad I was able to get this <coughs> in 2021 when they had a sale. But without a sale, I still would purchase this item because I loved this. Everything I tried from this. The leave-in is amazing. The deep conditioner to this is amazing. So I definitely want to try more TGIN. That's been a hit all across the board. I have not had one product from TGIN that my hair just was like, hell no. <laughs> this is definitely one of those products that I will, that you're going to see again. Because it's like, if I don't know what my hair needs or wants, I'm picking this up. <laughs> as well as that Mia Rosemary Mint one. Okay, now when I want moisture, this is going to be it. This is one of these moisturizing shampoos where 
<laughs> if you used a super duper clarifying shampoos, like anything that's like oh gonna strip your head to the gods, <laughs> pick this up. If any shampoo strips your hair, pick this up. Cause there's a YouTuber and I watch her. Her hair, most shampoos, they strip her hair to like nothing. But she loves this one. <laughs> so I would say this Nature's Little Secret Cucumber Nourishing Shampoo made with cucumber juice. Yes, I would. There isn't a product that I absolutely hate from Nature's Little Secret. There's just one product where I'm like, I don't think it's the most moisturizing for me and my hair. But other people may love it. <laughs> But this, I would. And that makes me want to try the clarifying one. But this is definitely, when I need a moisturizing shampoo, this would be one that I would definitely grab when you need amazing moisture. Okay, now y'all should know this. I've been using this forever. <laughs> this nature's little secret. I mean, no, this, sorry, this cream of nature's straight from Eden. <clears throat> I just talked about nature's little secret and I, you know, put it over there with items I would, re that I would repurchase that I loved. This is definitely, I don't know if they discontinued, but every beauty supply store I know got this. So as long as I'm able to find this, you will see this straight from Eden cream of nature. Y'all done seen this since 2017, so don't ask me about this. Go back and watch me explain how much I love this. If you don't see, if I can't find this no more, that's because it's sold out everywhere. They don't make it no more. It's been discontinued. As long as I'm able to find it, I'll get it. How about that? Okay, this next one, this... I would say this is a great clarifier. This is not a shampoo that I would grab for moisture. <clears throat> when my hair needs a reset, a, when I want to have a spa day in the shower and I need a good clarifying shampoo, it's not going to strip it down or nothing to where it feels like a Brillo pad. But it's going to clarify enough to where I know my hair is clean and I don't have to question it. And it's going to get a squeaky clean without feeling like a Brillo pad. I Meaning it's, it did its job and clarified and it's not like, oh, you don't snatch my soul. No, it's not going to do that. But it's going to get that hair clean and it's going to clarify it. Now, the smell can be a bit extra to some people. But I absolutely loved this Exotica Kool-Aid. The girls, um, I must say this, because Main Choice, they have been known to reformulate. Uh, main Choice, do not touch this. Do not touch it. Do not discontinue it. This is great. Now, that deep conditioner to this, <laughs> that's a whole different damn story, but I love this. I absolutely would repurchase this. Like if I had to just have a bunch of shampoos, this, I remember really enjoying this. <laughs> I really did. I would. Out of all these shampoos that I've tried, there's only one that I, where I'm like, hell no. Okay. Let me get to the next few items. All right. I thoroughly enjoyed this Miche moisturizing, cleansing shampoo. It's the Meech, Meech Limited Ad Miche Beauty Limited Edition. Miche be making these limited editions that just be blowing us naturals away we'd be like damn <clears throat> mm. 
And I'm just like, wow. Okay. This bitch is in cream shampoo. <laughs> Baby, this is one of the most moisturizing shampoos I have tried. Like, if I had to have a moisturizing shampoo, this would be it. I'm kind of almost scared that they may, I hope they bring this back. And I hope they have it on sale. When I see it, it's just I haven't been looking yet because I've had so much going on. But yeah. I'm going to put this in the maybes. I loved this, but I'm going to put it in the maybes because we don't know when it, you blink. You like, you, if you procrastinate and you be like, okay, I'm going to get it. Next day, they may not have it no more. So. That's why I say I'm going to put this in the maybes, but I, I loved it. Just don't know when I'm going to catch a sale on it. Okay, this next one. Um, now, this is another product that Main Trace, you better not touch this either. And this is one of your best selling lines. <laughs> this Tropical Moringa moisturizing endless moisturizing shampoo i probably don't butcher the name but you know what i mean when i say the tropical moringa by main choice okay i shorten that shit because <laughs> it's long as hell these names you be like i'm not saying all that shit i know what it means <laughs> this is one of the best <laughs> smelling shampoos definitely one of the most moisturizing shampoos like this is one of them shampoos, like, you could definitely get away with using this year-round. You you could. You always need your hair to be moisturized. You don't want to have dry hair, but you do need to clarify. At some point, you will need to clarify. Maybe not every, not every wash day. I will not clarify my hair every wash day. Unless I'm using a whole lot of grease. And a whole lot of chemicals that got to come off my hair. So I would have to say that this is great at moisturizing the hair. Would I repurchase this? Yes, I did love this. This was one of my favorites. Now, you want to talk about a solid line where I loved everything front, back, side to side. <laughs> Oh, this Amazon will definitely get repurchased. This was one of my favorite lines ever out of everything from the deep conditioner to this was amazing. The gel was amazing. The leave-in conditioner was amazing. And this shampoo was amazing. When this is called the main choice Amazon hair day, I had an Amazon hair experience with it. So there are no complaints. Okay, and if the main choice does not have it on the website, I know where I can get this. My beauty supplies, though. Oh, they got everything. They got some stuff that's been discontinued. They still got it. I don't know who they plug is, but they got everything. <laughs> so if I wanted to and I didn't want to get this on the website, I could just go snatch this up immediately. They got all six products. Yeah. <laughs> Loved. <laughs> okay. This is definitely one of my favorite clarifiers. This kinky, curly, come clean. So, <clears throat> this is a great moisturizing, but very much clarifying. This will clarify your hair and your hair will feel lovely. I fell in love with this kinky curly. Come clean. Okay. I understand why many naturals loved this. Because I damn sure did. <coughs> this is pH balanced to add moisture and shine. And it's even supposed to get. I thought there was something on here where it said that they can get off hard water use or so or prevents it. I'm not sure, but this is definitely great. 
Okay, I, I loved this. I'm not going to even... This needs no introduction. You should already know. Now, this has been a favorite since 2020. I will always... <laughs> okay, you have seen this in... I, I started using this in 2020. This... As long as I can find it, I can buy it. I've been wanting to have tried TGIN since 2017, but back then I was like, no. I've been using this, this, whoo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the second one that I have gone through. So this moisture rich one, definitely. TGIN just makes great products. Okay, now this one. This is the Miel Rice Water Collection. Miel shampoos will clean your hair well. The only thing with this one, there are two other shampoos that I love. Three other shampoos I from Miel that I love way more than this one. And they are all, and well, the Magongo oil one, I love way more than this one. I didn't hate this. I actually really like this because I did a whole video about the rice water collection. It is, you know, I still feel like after maybe a wash or two, you know, it's good. It's just, you know how if you overwash, you'll feel like that squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. I don't know. They might want to put this on more of the clarifying side of the spectrum because it felt a little bit more clarifying. I'm not going to lie. Over time, this felt more clarifying than moisturizing. So I did not hate this. This did its thing, but it's not a favorite. I don't believe I would repurchase. I'm going to put this in the maybes because it did do what it needed to do, but it's not a favorite. Now, out of all the shampoos, we're going to talk about the one I hated. This still did not do as bad as the shampoo from last year. The one that I just did not use because I did use this up. What did I hate about this? <clears throat> the smell for one. Number two, this felt way more clarifying. So y'all need to quit lying and saying, okay, I would not say it was luxurious. It did clean. I'm not going to say it had my hair feeling soft and silky smooth. No. This was the worst shampoo out of everything that I tried. This was the one I least liked, okay? This was the one I did not like out of all the shampoos. Out of all 12, I did not like this. So you will not see me repurchase this. I won't even mention this. Um, Curls discontinued this. Some people really like the hair bath. I love the leave-in to this. The leave-in to this Curls cashmere. They did their thing. They did their thing. Their leaving is wonderful. Even the hair mask is really, really good. It's just, I don't, I can't put my hands on it because I'm looking at the ingredients. I know what polyquatrin 10 is. It's another derivative of honey, in a sense. It's a humectant. Um, I don't know if it's the charcoal in this. Or maybe the aloe vera leaf juice needed to be further up or the wool that's in this. They do have a soy protein, so maybe it's the soy protein that my hair just didn't like. Different proteins my hair does not like, so it may have had too much protein in this. So that's probably why, but no. <laughs> All right, y'all, that is my yeses my hell no's, and my I don't know, maybe so's. Um, getting a little late, so I'm tired. 
I'm calling it a night. Good night, my foos.